guys, it's your girl Tanisha coming to you again. How are you doing? I'm coming to you today to show you the knotless crochet method. As you can see right here, and you would normally use this like near your part or actually where your part is on your uh, crochet sewing or crochet braids just to give it a more natural part. So we're going to imagine that, you know, this is one braid. Uh, on the side of the part and then another braid is on the other side of the part So I'm just trying to basically show you how to do the knotless method and as you can see I've done about four or five uh, strands already and It is very it looks very real. It looks like it's just growing out of the scalp So I'm gonna show you how I do it so you can do it yourself so if you're wanting the hair to fall that way you would go up into the braid. If you wanted the hair to fall that way, you would go down into the braid. So if this were the top of someone's head and this was their middle part, I, for, if for on this side, if I, uh, this was their left side, I would go in, pull the hair through. If the part, if I was doing the braid on the other side, I would go in and pull it through. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna um, show you how I do it, this is my my little corn roll uh, for demonstration purposes down the side of Miss Chelsea's head. Hopefully you can see that. All right, so let's get going. So like I said, I would go up through the braid. I would get my hair onto the hook. I would close the hook. And I would pull the hair through and then take the hook off and you grab one of the strands, it doesn't matter which one, and you pull it through and you push it close to the, to the hair. And I personally like to go in and reinforce that one strand that I pulled through, I'll go in and knot it. But then I take the other piece of hair and I pull it over. And so you see, it still looks more natural than just a regular knotted crochet. Because because the regular ones, let's just let's just do a, a demonstrate for demonstration purposes. If I do a regular crochet, I take it through, I put my braid on, excuse me, my extensions onto the hook, I pull it through. Now you can do it like this. Turn, take the whole piece of hair through, turn, Take the whole piece of hair through. And then I do just one more for good measure. <laughs> and then when you do that, see how it creates a knot? And not everybody likes that. I don't, let me bring it a little bit closer. See how that creates a knot? Not everyone wants a knot. Even though, I mean, it doesn't look bad. Everyone doesn't want that. So compared to this, where the hair comes over to where you don't see the knot. So that's the whole point of the knotless crochet braid. Excuse me, yeah, the knotless crochet braid. So I'm gonna cut this one off and do, a, do some more knotless so you can kind of get the gist of it cheap scissors and that's just how easy it is to remove a crochet <laughs> you just really have to cl cut close to the knot all right so let's do some more knot less and making sure y'all can see that well all right I go into the braid I get my hair I put it on the hook I close the hook I pull the hook through. I take it 
take one piece of the hair. I pull it. And again, you can knot this if you want to. And then you just pull it over. Let me see, is there a space? Yeah, it looks like a space. So you can, yeah, push it down right there. So the, the goal is to keep doing it until you get to the end. <clears throat> so I'll just keep going. Because when I crochet, I like to go pretty much as close to the end as possible. And this does take a considerable amount of time. So don't rush the process. Just, you know, go with it. And then you just pull that piece over. Close to the end as you'd like to be. Again, I personally like to go as close to the end as possible and then slick those edges down. So this will probably end up being the last one. So technically you do end up tying a knot, but it's not a noticeable knot. It's a knot that's <laughs> not seen by everyone. All right, so that's how it would look. Oh, it's extra hair out of the way. So that's how it would look near the part. Very clean, very nice, actually. And then if you have, make sure that if, if you're doing that, you want to make sure that your braids are kind of close together so you don't have a really big uh, in between the part, which will grow out faster and look kind of awkward. So wherever you're doing the knotless crochet technique, if it's for the area around the part, if the style has a part, then you want to make sure those braids are very close together just to give a longer wear for your client, just to make sure that everything is nice, decent, and in order. So, yeah, that is the knotless crochet technique. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. And I want to thank Miss Chelsea for helping me out. <laughs> That's her name, y'all. Look. I didn't make this up. Somebody put that there before I bought it. <laughs> so I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and hit me down below. Come on, Miss Chelsea. You can't get tired now, girl. They just started. But anyway, <laughs> this has been your girl, Tanisha, giving you a big old hug from afar. So until next time, bye.